Hello, 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 Sambo here. Welcome back for another video. Now you might be looking at this thinking, hang on a second, where are we? Well, this is over near Al Samir, on the way to Al Samir, you can see it in the background there. And I just decided to expand a lot. We needed a lot more farming area, industrial, and we have a lot of space over here as well. So I did a bit of expansion off camera, but now we've got well, we've got traffic building up now, and of course there's going to be more traffic here in the future anyway, because it is all going to be expanded around this area. So in this video, we're going to go through and completely, completely redo this roundabout, make a decent intersection, and um, let's get into it. So the first probably three or four minutes, we're going to do a speed build just so we can get a little bit more into it. And then after that speed build, um, I'm going to go into live mode, show it all a bit better because it's hard to kind of see everything in the speed build. And we're also going to set up the time traffic lights and just make sure it all flows really well. It did actually take a while to decide which roads I wanted because I needed there to be specific lanes here and there, which I will break down, of course, at the after the speed build. Um, and then the, I also go through and put all of the different line markings and putting put in the filler lines and the medians and things like that. There's a lot that goes into it and you can see there we don't really have too much space to work with. So I end up dragging it back just a tiny little bit and expanding out the side onto the water just slightly because we needed a little bit more room for the slip lane. So this is the slip lane going into the industry farm area and then you can see there's one coming off there as well. I also do some on the other sides but they look a little bit different to the ones that you can see there already. So it is still going to be like a just a normal crossing intersection but there are going to be the slip lanes you can see there um, it's, I'm just letting it run through there was a bit of a flood there um, we're sweeping away all the rubbish and leaves um, but yeah there's going to be lots of slip lanes there's going to be two lanes going uh, both ways and then the third lane will be a slip lane into one side then the other side will be uh, the other turning lane so there'll be four lanes going on either side which you guys will see in a second lots of turning lanes lots of slip lanes basically just trying to make it flow as easy as possible and I also go ahead and do all the line markings for where all the other roads connect as well because we're not just focusing on this one intersection we're focusing on the whole area so there's a, there's still a lot of other areas that need to be need to be manicured to make everything flow as well because if you have a area nearby that's going to cause traffic then that traffic is going to back up into this intersection which is what we don't want and it was actually getting a little bit laggy at this point putting in all of the lane connections but you can start to see where it's all going to go but uh, you guys will see all of the lane markings in a second but it was very very technical I confused myself a lot and it's not perfect it's not exactly how I wanted it but it's close enough and it will do the job so um, why don't we jump out of the speed build and have a look at all of the line markings and I'll go through everything a lot more in detail then we'll work on some of the time traffic lights and just get it all looking pretty good I might also throw in some vegetation as well hello hello we're out of speed build now take it all in there's a lot here I tried to fill it in with some nice vegetation. I didn't want to overdo it too much in the middle because you kind of want to be able to see like everything, right? You want to be able to see, but these parts, it's all right to have it a bit more bushier. Um, so when you zoom out, I mean, you can't really see, but that's the shape we're going for. Um, like I said, there's a lot going on around here, but you know what? It's kind of annoying because at the start of the video, there was so much traffic and now there's like nothing. So it's like, mm, did I do all this for nothing? But no, I think, we will build over here like I want to do an industry area over here so obviously then all of that traffic will come back around to here boosting the amount of traffic through here so let's have a look at it look let's have a look at how it all works so you come along here um, this is leading from the other farming area which I quite like actually looks really good and yes I know about that little symbol I'll try to fix it up come along here and then it breaks into three lanes so the third lane goes around and loops back onto here but the other two go straight ahead and then the third lane comes back so you come over to here you have this lane which goes straight ahead and then you have these two which can go over into those lanes which will go into Al Samir 
so it goes into over there um, and then if we come along here onto the main road so we have the four lanes which then which then breaks into one two three four lanes on this side and then we got three on this side but let's have a look at this side first so we come along here you have your designated slip lane which comes off there then these two lanes will continue straight ahead but then you also have this lane here which is used to turn into um, the other farming area uh, when you use this slip lane you come up here you you then have these two lanes you can go left or you can go straight ahead i made sure that they couldn't turn right here because that would kind of block all of that traffic coming towards them as well um come back over we'll go from this one now so this one we, i want there to be a lot of lanes a lot of choice as well so we've got again a designated lane which comes around here into their designated space and then they merge over here um, they also have the option to go straight ahead or they can use these two lanes to go onto the main road so i try to do two lanes where i think there will be a lot more traffic um, obviously like this one here i couldn't really do two lanes well i mean i could but then i have to update all of that and then it's like a whole struggle as well coming from this side again we have a designated lane so they can just zip around here and in they go you have the two lanes going straight ahead and then this one which goes over into this side as well so i'll just give you guys a look at that it's it's kind of like a lot but i tried to do it as clear as possible because you have all these fillers in here as well um and then i tried to do like some very faint lines so like you got this little red one which goes over here little red one here for the turning and then this very light yellow to show where they need to turn as well but you could do more you could do less it really doesn't matter it's up to me um but yeah that that's pretty much it in terms of how all of it's supposed to look so if we just let it play out it might help you guys see how it looks as well i don't want them to be able to park here I don't like oops that's not it i don't like that because that's kind of a bit awkward right like why would they want to park right there same for here don't want them to park no parking here so i think in terms of all of the lanes i think i've got enough um obviously it's we can change it in the future if we really need to but i think for now it's okay so let, why don't we jump into the time traffic lights see if we can get it to work all right uh, i just wish there was more traffic like for some reason suddenly there was no not enough resources i don't know what's going on and then there was not as many trucks coming in suddenly there's no trucks coming in over here as well i don't know what what happened like there was so much traffic here before now they've all disappeared anyway let's start we'll set it up see how we go and we also have to make sure that we get all of the lanes right as well which is going to be interesting so why don't we so that one we need to have the three lanes so you got that one straight ahead then turning this one here we, we don't need one going that way we just need oops I mean is that i think that's how we'd have to do it because we have this one going straight ahead then those two going that way this one will need the three no this one will just need the two it'll be like that even though it has the little arrow to turn left they can't actually turn left and then this side as well so the same so you got the little arrow pointing left and straight ahead and also right so i think that is how we need it to go so first of all let's make sure that the traffic can just go straight through but that that won't include the turning lanes so we'll go green and then for this side because we want them to go straight through green um then for this one this turning lane here should always be green no matter what always always green and then over here it should only be that one so let's just say that one can go for maximum 20 minimum 15 yeah and then from there we'll add the next stop which will be stopping them from going straight ahead but then allowing these lanes on the side from the main road to turn across and for that one we'll just do maybe seven seconds minimum five okay we'll go to the next step and then that one will turn off what we just did but we'll leave this one here because they can still go 
in turn and we'll focus on we'll focus on this part here so how about they can turn this side so we're going from here over to here which then allows us to do this one here to go over to here because they won't be crisscrossing so we can go like that that one can be what 10 seconds minimum five we'll just we'll adjust it all in the future then we'll go add step and we'll turn off those and we will allow this lane here to go straight ahead over here we'll allow this one to go straight ahead that one can just be like five seconds because there's really not much traffic okay let's just do a quick test and see how they go and um, we've got to make sure that we get it all because it's kind of tricky and why aren't these guys stopping I'm just noticing why are they going straight oh there we go now they stopped okay so tr cars are going straight through and then from this point it should stop and then these ones should be able to turn yep so they see that one turned around there they can turn there and that allows all the other traffic to build up and then from this one these guys can go these ones go around here and these ones to go over here so there's no crisscrossing and then other than that it should be well there's none there this this lane here would go straight ahead and this one here would go straight ahead and then those ones will go straight through i think that's pretty much it that was really easy actually i thought it was going to be really a lot more difficult hmm. Of course, I think I'll have to come back to this in the future when there's a lot more industry in the area. Like right now, there's really not a lot, but, um, oh, what happened there? What are you doing? Hello, where are you going? Okay, they're zooming around. I think that's good. I just don't know what's going on. Like why there's suddenly no traffic. It doesn't make like a, a good video. Like I wanted there to be a lot of traffic, so it's more challenging. Okay, let's put it on speed build and just see how it goes. I just wish there was more traffic. Ah, there's not enough traffic. Yeah, so you can see that one, like, just that these trucks just zoom up around the side and they have their designated lane from all the way back here. So they have, like, plenty of space for them to just zoom up and straight around. Same for these ones, like, just zoom straight down, merge there. Um, the only downside is that it's four lanes, but it goes from a one lane, which isn't really the best but it is what it is and um i think that's it but why why are some of the trucks ignoring the rule here that's what i'm wondering okay that one stopped hmm very strange just to show you guys like this is the the new farming area i think it looks really cool like it looks really like natural it's not really structured too much it's kind of all over the place the roads are really wonky and windy which i think is pretty cool fishing area some forestry as well and um yeah i think it just looks really good this is how it looks from their point of view come along here hang on go forward so like it looks like a lot from up high look why did that truck go through there mm, naughty naughty some of them are waiting, some of them are like, nah, not waiting, can't be bothered, not much traffic, just zooming through, I don't care. I think the speed limit's 50 through here, 50 kilometers, um, so it's not too fast. Uh, if we come from this angle, this is how it looks. So, I mean, if you're from, when you're going from your lane, it doesn't really look overwhelming, like, you know where to go. So I'll go around there, so... Whoa, whoa, where are we going? Come back over here, nice little view of the city, then you got your, your turning lane, you got your, got your slow sign, then that zooms back around. Why is this so jumpy? And then you got your designated merging space over here as well. Um, and I like this road because it has this random spacing in the middle, which I think is for cyclists, but there's no cyclists out here. I just think it looks cool just to kind of break it up a little bit something different same for whoops same for over here as well we got that lane marking space thing in the middle um, over here as well yeah I just think it looks really cool and okay for anyone who's wondering what that road is because there's a whole bunch of roads that have that um, let me find it it's in the four lane here it is so this is what 
some of them are called um, four lane bike road h1 rr there's like 20 different ones if anyone's looking for them um, I think they're pretty cool. There's like they're really unique as well You can get all the different types of ones But yeah, I think other than that I was I was just waiting to see if there's gonna be any more traffic, but um, I think I might get the unlimited Resource mod because suddenly like there's no resources available. I don't know what's going on But yeah, and then I think from that point on there should be enough traffic to actually make this look Like it's supposed to be there right now. It kind of looks like a bit over the top for the amount of traffic again truck went straight through I don't know what's going on there naughty naughty but yeah I think it looks really cool I think I think it looks good and I think the vegetation fits in quite well and I really do like this area I just think it fits in really well I put a little town there as well but yeah that's that's pretty much it um, let me know what you guys think and if there's anything that I forgot to do here let me know again the trucks zoom through but I think I have got it all I think it's all right I think it's all good I just don't know about the trucks zooming through um, but they do have the the traffic lights there the ones in this lane wait so anyone know that would be great if you could tell me but yeah let's end the, vi the video there and i'll catch you guys next time